Welcome to the session on gearing. My name is Rob from Steam Labs and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how a compound gear works, one on the left, and also how the mad box gear works or the gear mechanism works and this has been taken from the VEX IQ STEM Lab. So to begin with today, if you're new to robotics or if you don't really understand gearing, I do recommend that you have a look at the tutorial on VEX IQ STEM Labs and if you just have a quick look at this one here with our small to big gear ratio. So at the moment, this is going to be my driver gear, and if I rotate this, you'll be able to see the other gears, which are all connected from this main driver gear, move very, very slowly due to the gear combination which is being used here. If we reverse this over, and if I now spin my bigger gear on this side, you'll be able to see it's the complete opposite. Now, the VEX IQ STEM Lab tutorial for gearing, which uses the Madbox, this is a fantastic starting point for this year's Pitching In competition. You can have a look at this by yourself, I'll leave a link underneath the video. Now, what I want to have a look at with you today is compound gears, and I'm going to demonstrate how one of our students has used this on their robot and how they've used this same mechanism to create the flywheel on the Pitching In robot. Now, you'll be able to see here our gear combination, so this here is going to be our driver gear and if I turn this around right now you'll be able to see how much quicker this small gear spins at the top I'm trying to see where I'm pointing here here <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see uh, if you have a look at how quickly it uh, spins at the top in comparison to the middle blue smaller 12 tooth gear here now this here is known as compound gearing. So what we have here on axle number one, so where I'm holding my finger, oh, here, this is gonna be our driver gear, this is axle number one. This is connected to the 12 tooth gear on axle number two. And also on axle number two, we've got a 36 tooth gear, which is here. And this is rotating once that 12 tooth gear is also being rotated. But if you have a look at the difference in speed between the smaller 12 tooth gear here and the one on axle number three, you'll be able to see it spins much, much quicker. Now this here is known as compound gearing. So if we consider our gear ratios right now, so 60 tooth gear driving a 12 tooth gear, this is gonna have a gear ratio of five to one. So you're gonna to need to apply a little bit of maths here. But now we also have this gear, the red gear here, which is being driven by this large pink 60 tooth gear because it's on the same shaft or the same axle as the smaller 12 tooth gear. And then the 36 tooth gear here is then gonna be driving the, the top gear up here, which is again our 12 tooth gear. And this here is allowing us to create a very, very powerful mechanism. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move across to our student robot and just demonstrate where they're at at the moment so you can see how this works. Moving down to our student robot down here, we've got two robots on the floor right now. All of our students are studying online so they all have this pitching in field set up in their homes or in their small studios. So here, this is one of our first designs. This is the pitching in robot with some slight modifications. And currently they are working on this robot at the moment. So you'll be able to find some similar designs online. So we have a couple of intake rollers at the moment. They're not finished. I picked this up from their house last night so I can demonstrate it today. You'll be able to see here, we've got two intake rollers. I think they're gonna be changing these for black intake rollers here and this isn't put together quite correctly at the moment. And uh, at the back here, we have our flywheel. So before I get onto our flywheel, one of the most important things for this year's competition is to make sure it can fit underneath these lower hanging bars here. So I can see from the robot currently, it just about fits under. They haven't designed the hanging mechanism yet, but you'll be able to see it fits underneath. And I'll give you a quick uh, tour of our robot so you can see all the different working mechanisms in a moment. Now, this here is our flywheel on the back here. So we're using those same mechanisms here. So we've got our large gear driving the small gear up here. Okay, so where I'm pointing to over here. Okay, so 
60 tooth gear driving the 12 tooth gear and then we've got our 36 driving our 12 tooth gear again so we're using that same mechanism now now we have our wheels on here and there's no motor on the back if you have a look at how much this spins when we turn it around and this is why it's called a flywheel this is allowing us to create a really really powerful mechanism and when both of these gears are turning at one time it should allow for the robot to shoot the ball into this basket up here. Now we're waiting for another couple of parts to arrive at the moment, including the bigger wheels, just so we can have the correct whip between the two different wheels up here so we can shoot our ball. But this is a very, very quick explanation as to how this mechanism does work. Now, just so you can see the full robot at the moment, I'm just gonna turn it around so you can see how this has been built. They have put around 14 hours work into this currently. And I think they're gonna have used all six motors. So they're gonna to need to think about how they are going to get the robot to grab onto either the low or the high hanging bar at the end. I do hope that this has been really, really useful. I did say that I would share the video. If you have any questions, do drop me a message underneath the video and either I will reply or I'll get one of my students to reply and they can talk to you in a little bit more detail about how this works.